Hello everyone, I'm Dan here. In this video, we are going to uh, go through the installation process of Cocos Creator and the editor we are going to use Visual Studio Code as uh, it is officially recommended. So for Cocos Creator, I mean we have Cocos Studio X, Cocos Studio JS. So, but we'll be building all those games with Cocos Creator because this is quite easy. We may also have the uh, tutorial with uh, Cocos 2DX, but for now we are going with Cocos Creator. So you have to just open the Cocos.com URL in the browser, and you'll land up here. Now we have to go to Download section. And we have Cocos, uh, sorry, Visual Studio Code uh, to download on. So you can choose based on your platform, Windows, Mac, you know, and uh, some uh, Ubuntu. Here we have option of download and documentation. This documentation section is for you know helping you to um, what sort of uh, uh, options available and components and UI ways, UIs, uh, components and game objects available for. Uh, game developments so we need to download here so here we have a uh, many versions of focus creator so we have to download the latest one and uh, we I mean before downloading we have to just uh, go through what this dashboard is so this dashboard is something uh, like this okay it is completely uh, the same interface I'm showing you. So this dashboard uh, arranges all those projects based on the version of Cocos Creator we have used. So this is the work of uh, dashboard. So to download from dashboard, we can directly click download section, and then we'll uh, see the option of uh, available editors. So since I have already downloaded 2.3.3. So it is uh, it is showing installed. So you may you may not see this option, and uh, you'll have option of download. So you have to just click here, and then installation starts. I mean the downloading starts. Once it is uh, complete, um, you'll see hundred percent here. So uh, make sure you do not close this window before it is downloaded. Otherwise, you won't be able to resume it. Okay. So once it is uh, completely downloaded, we just need to go to the URL URL here, and you will install this. I mean, based on your platform, you will have executive executable file or you know DMG files. So you just need to double click it, and that's it. Your, your editor is installed. After installation, uh, you just need to open that. So you will have this Cocos Creator icon, or you can simply search Cocos Creator. Okay. Okay. So I have arranged um, these uh, DMG files based on the version. So you can simply uh, open this. Uh, same in the case of Windows, you can simply search. Uh, and then you can open. So, you when you open, you will simply, I mean, you will land up on uh, this section of, you know, editor. So you can create your project here. So here, if you create project, you will cre you can create with the same version. But uh, if you go with the dashboard. Will have flexibility to choose the editors from. So here you have option to choose which version of Cocos Creator you want to uh, select for the project. We have some templates already built. So we have empty one. We have match vs. You know we have example cases. So this example cases uh, section is having I mean many examples of uh, all those UI components and scripting and all. So uh, this match uh, vs network game. This is uh, I mean 
a project which is integrating plugin of match vs which is um, to help multiplayer gaming uh, leaderboards and data stories and all so we'll go with the empty one so we'll create demo game and here we have you can select the location where you want to store our game so now we have to click create it will take few seconds to Im import the assets and all and now we are good to go so this is for Cocos creator installation and opening the project in it and let's go with the Visual Studio Code once you, you have installed it you will uh, have uh, this editor open so what we can do is we can simply open this project from here and you can drop it down to the Visual Studio Code and now you have all all the files uh, opened here in this editor so most of the thing would be here in the asset directory uh, which you can see here here asset directory so here we'll just get many folders like scenes we'll have a uh, resources See this uh, resources folder is you know having some uh, predefined meaning so you know all the assets that require dynamically loaded via cc.loader.load resource must be placed under resources so whatever resource you place under this resources folder would be uh, dynamically loaded via this uh, function okay so uh, suppose we put uh, some uh, images some uh, sound files and all so whatever you put in this uh, resources folder it would be dynamically loaded when, uh, when your app starts okay so make sure oh, whatever you put in this folder it is going to be um, loaded on a very initial uh, stage of uh, you know application opening so you have to be careful about this so we will have many folders like yes, scripts okay and and many more uh, according to our needs so this is Cocos creator uh, we'll have a dedication dedicated section for the overview of this uh, editor but for now uh, uh, that's all for this and, and one more thing we can do is we we have to uh, add an extension here debugger that is chrome debugger I have already installed it so what, what is the use of this is sometime uh, we may face problem uh, whatever you want to achieve is not going to happen so at that time uh, debugging would help us so for that debugging we need this uh, you know extension installed on this uh, Cocos Visual Studio code and the rest will discuss in the next lecture thank you